Yes. Hello, Papa. Yes. Now today we have. No, I have to readjust my genitalia. So today, Papa, we have a very interesting, oh, huge package here. Yeah. Which is the first time I have a huge package in my lap. Now, Papa, this package is coming all the way from Russia. Now, if you don't know, Russia uh, is quite in the pickle right now. And my friend Hikes, he is Russian and he's got some problems. He's scared he's gonna get fucking deployed. So I told him, Hikes, before you eventually die and step on a landmine, do you want to send me a package of Russian replacement product? Because if you don't know, all the big brands like Coca-Cola, I think Pepsi, I think McDonald's, etc. All these big brands, they left Russia and Russia now had to make their own sort of a replacement for that product. This package was very expensive. It ended up costing me something like $400, I think. With shipping being ultra expensive and products in general. Maybe Hikes scammed me, I don't know, but... Probably. I, yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this? Do you see there's like dust and debris? <laughs> oh my god! He sent this all the way from Russia. This is too liter soda! <laughs> <laughs> I helped Hikes pick out these products on my stream. Maybe kind of like this better or no? Yes, that's much better. Okay. That's much better. Umenya jest bomba. But that was actually months ago, I think, or at least many weeks ago. Oh, I don't think there's any chocolate left in this one. The custom ate it. Yeah, the customs fucking Russian customs ate my chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> This was supposed to be Oreos. Mm. Let's see, let me just put everything on the table here. There's a lot of stuff which obviously he couldn't send, like ma Look in here, at the bottom, there's the chocolate. <laughs> Russian chocolate! Yes! Obviously, there's some stuff which he couldn't send, like McDonald's replacement, because that's just gonna mold. He can't send uh, some of the fresh produce, because that's also gonna mold. He chose the fastest shipping method, but it still took weeks to get here. But this is basically what we could get. Now, Papa? Yes? In Russia, you don't have Pepsi, you don't have Coca-Cola, you have Cool Cola, and you have Chernogolovka Cola. Aha, uh -huh, they're just... Wor just as good as the real thing. Let's try Chernogolovka Cola, Papa. When's the expiry? It probably doesn't say. Ooh. Oh, it's very like freeway cola. Put the picture here, Sams. It smells exactly like that. Anyone who's poor or shops at Lidl will know exactly what I'm talking about. That was the only thing I drank when I was in like seventh grade. Let's have a gander here. Hmm, this does not taste like capitalism. I'm getting some cola, but very watery. And I'm also getting a whiff of non-consensual drafting. Okay, I mean, it's cola, right? But it tastes like you bought it from Lidl for very cheap. Here, Papa, try it. Yes, Chernogolovka. You like it? Not very good. Take another swig. What the fuck? This is $400 cola. It tastes like communism. Okay, let's try the next one. Cool cola, papa. I'm gonna be honest, I think this one's gonna taste exactly the same. Also, why didn't we find something smaller than a two liter? Oi. Holy shit. Look at this, look at this. Look at, look at the top, look at the top. You see? Yeah. Yes. This is just pure fucking Chernobyl acid seeping out from this one. Ooh. Smells cola. Smells cool cola. I was gonna say this one's better, but I don't know. They're both like shit ghetto cola. But that's cool cola. I feel really cool. Yes. This feels like I want to fight for the motherland. Are you cool? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you like it? No. I think the other one was a little bit better. Okay. So, Russian cola replacement. I would say Chernogolovka probably a six. Cool cola probably a five. Ah! Sorry, I cracked my neck. Next one, Papa, we have Fancy. Why don't they just call it Fanta when they're breaking so many copyright laws anyways? And just laws in general. Why not just call it fucking Fanta? So, uh, 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 so we have Fancy Fanta from the same company as Cool Cola. <sighs> Nay. Oh. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Oof. If I was Russian and this was the replacement product I got, I would just give back the land. It's not worth it. <laughs> Nay, I don't like this one. Try it. Cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Appelsin Coke. Drink Coke now. <laughs> They're not so bad. Really? Papa loves Coke. <laughs> yeah. Papa loves the taste of Coke. So you like it? Yeah. Uh, no, not very much, no. <laughs> You're very much. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would say regular Fanta for me probably gets like a six. I don't like it. Coke Fanta, Coke Fancy, Fancy Coke, a three. It was bad, I'm sorry. Next up, this is where Sam's mother spends her nights. Yeah. On the street. Yeah, with the cock. Yeah, with cock. Yeah. Cock also. <laughs> Let's listen. Oi. <sighs> Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably, I would say, the closest they've gotten to actual product. This tastes kinda like Sprite. <laughs> mm. I've had a lot of soda now, Papa, you try it. Not the best one, but not the worst one either. This is like something you could live with. Hikes, I recommend this. <laughs> I recommend this one for you. Yeah, tastes coke. Tastes coke. Yeah. If you're a girl and drink this, it's like when I'm in Thailand. Lady coke. <laughs> 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 I'm drinking soda. <coughs> yes, Sprite, regular, I'd say it's a seven. This one, a six. It, it was the best so far. Next up, Baba. Here in the Western world, we have Oreos. Uh, in Russia, they don't. They have Funny Cat. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, I think customs may have trampled this. Is it old? Why does it say 2014? Yes. What? Do you want to try? Uh, not sure anymore. Funny fucking cat. Are you getting blade? Yes. Hurry! Hurry! Ah! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Okay, let's see here. If we just dump this out. Oh my god. Was this delivered by WWE? Let's see. This is the closest to a whole cookie I can find. Russian funny cat Oreo. Is it good? No. Nah. It's only cardboard. That's bad. Here, Papa, try. Take the whole thing. It's just cardboard, right? Mm -hmm. Very dry. That is bad. Not the best. Real Oreos are sweet and tasty. This has so much cardboard. This one gets a two. That is very bad. I'm sorry. Funny cat, you can fuck off. Next up, Papa. We have another actual Oreo replacement. This is called Bang Bang! This is what happens to you if you're Russian, age 25, who doesn't go to the military. And step on the landmine. Bang bang. This one is old. Do you see? Yeah. Let's give it a try anyways. Oh, these are also very broken. Why are they fucking called bang bang? Me and your mom. <laughs> old ass bang bang cake. Mmm. Was it good? Even though it's old, this is way better. This is a good replacement product. Here, Papa, try. That tastes like regular Oreo, right? Yeah. Not cardboard. No. Seal of approval. Yes. After that, I'm feeling kind of dry. How about we try this one? Ruski Dar? I don't know what it is, but Hike said that this is kind of what you drink now that you have no cola. Because I guess if you only have the cool cola, which is kind of shit, maybe you opt for something like this instead. Oi! What the fuck? <coughs> is it like kvass? What the fuck? Wait, here, Papa. Smell it. Mm hmm Okay. Chip? Chip? What? It's so weird. What is this? It's like almost mint, like a leaf. Is it fucking this? A pine cone? Am I drinking pine cone? It's pretty good. Kind of minty, kind of like uh, leafy. You like it? Yeah. I would rather drink this than cool cola, I'm gonna be honest. Yep. That's a pretty good product. Yeah. This isn't really a replacement product, but since so many of the candy and snacks and whatever companies have left, like Oreo, etc., they've made uh, these ones. This is not a new thing, actually. I bought this in the video when me and Alex go to Australia. We had a layover in Moscow, and I bought this from the vending machine. These are like kind of cinnamon bun-ish, kind of. Mm -hmm. right. But Hike said that this is now kind of what you eat because so many companies have left <laughs> there we go you see it's like a little cinnamon bun or something let's try him mm -hmm. mm, orange maybe very good papa try now this isn't like i said a replacement product per se but it kind of is mm. you like it well i liked it pretty good nice. try this one now okay try it mm. oh very dry excuse me very dry you like it nice. <laughs> I'll try some here. Dude, it's just falling apart. You see how dry it is? Yeah. That's it? It's like eating a desert. Yeah, this one's worse. <laughs> yeah. If this is like the candy snacks you have in Russia now, Hikes, I'm feeling kind of bad for you. Next up, Papa, let's try these two. These are energy drink replacements that he sent. And these have the very interesting name, Energy. Bombar. Bombar. Everything is bang bang or bombs <laughs> yeah. in Russia. So this is Energy Cola. And this is just Energy Grapefruit. Manufacturer, Moscow region. Yeah. Okay, let's try the grapefruit. Fruit first and see. Oh, hey. <coughs> Very grapey. Oh, yeah. nah, I don't know about this one. Let's try the energy drink cola. Ay, I'm so loud. I'm probably gonna test positive on all the radiation tests after this. Yeah. 
There's definitely like something in this. Russian energy drink. There has to be like crack or something in it. Ah! I, the, the cola is better, Papa. You give a review. Try it. Energy drink cola. Pretty decent regular cola. Yeah. That's a better cola than cool cola, actually. Yeah, That's saying something. Now try the grapefruit one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's very no, great. No, no. <laughs> you see uh, what I mean? It's yeah. very like ah. After that, Papa, we have these two. These are called Super Konmuk. <laughs> yes? No, the M is something else. M is T or something. Super Kontuk. I don't know. Super something. Yeah. Super fucking dry bacon. Let's try the chocolate one first. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> It doesn't look very appetizing when no. you see it like this. No. Okay, let's try chocolate super. Really good? No. <laughs> I thought it was good. I changed my mind. Let's try the one that has like something milk in it. What's it called? Condensed milk, I think it is. Oh my god. Yo yo! Today's package sponsored by Sahara Desert. Yeah. Oh here they look so good! And then here is just full shit. Do you see? Let's see. Cookie. The chocolate one was better. Not was so good. Not was so good. Here, try them. You like it? Cookie! No. Cookie! <laughs> you don't? No. Try the other one then. Ah. You like it? No. I didn't think so either. Try the chocolate here, Papa, which has been in an opened bag across Russia. <laughs> don't, don't tell me, actually. <laughs> Open in the bottom of the packet, all the way from Moscow. No? Not very nice. Okay, Papa. We yeah. only have two products left, actually. And these are kind of Three. also... Three. Oh, shit! We forgot these one. Oh. If you don't know what this is, this is uh, marmalade. Finnish people eat it, Russian people a lot eat it. And he said that this is like a fresh product, it gets old very quickly. And I said, buy it anyways. This was a month ago. Thankfully, all the information on the back has been rubbed off, so we can't see how old it is. Yes. I think it's two months old. It was packed in September. Does that mean we can still try it? Yes. Very old Russian marmalade. I'm not sure if it's supposed to taste anything, because it doesn't. It tastes old. <laughs> I'm just 100% sure now. If there is, like, nuclear apocalypse in the world, we would survive so long, Papa. Because we're eating, like, months old food and we think it's pretty decent. Yeah. Meanwhile, you know, people in New York, they would not eat a bagel unless it was made five minutes ago. Try this one, Papa. The marmalade, it doesn't taste anything. I think it's old. Wait. Right. Chewy. But it was pretty good. You said it didn't, didn't taste anything. Yeah. How can it taste good? Just the consistency. It doesn't taste anything. I told you! It doesn't yeah. taste- Hikes, is this supposed to taste? Now, Papa, the last two things we have left are kind of a replacement, but not really. This is two sodas that they now drink in Russia because there's nothing else to drink. Tarhun, this one's called, and Baikal, this one's called. These existed long before the sanctions, but now they've grown in popularity a lot. Yeah. So let's try the Baikal. It's the same as this one. Yeah, Ruski Dar. But look at this one picture also. It's just fucking pine cones. Do you see? Is this pine cone soda? <laughs> Let's try the Tarhoon, which just has a bunch of picture of flour instead. Flour soda. <clears throat> this one doesn't smell as good. Doesn't taste as bad as I thought. What does it taste? Soap. Soap and smelling on a flower. Okay. Try it, Papa. I think what the conclusion is today, the things that we've tried that were the best already existed before the sanctions, so all replacement products are fucking ass. Yeah. That's the same one, right? Yeah. And it's good. Yes. And I'll try this one. It's like weird midsum. It do the flavor does not look like the color. Neon alien green and the flavor is like a hug. No. You don't like it? No, not so much. I no. would say this one, the Baikal, is the best. The cola and the Fanta and the Sprite are probably the worst. Yes. Hikes, I'm sorry you can't have real cola and I'm sorry you can't have McDonald's or anything. Hopefully you'll be able to eventually. Yes. And hopefully everyone will be happy. Thank you for watching. Yes. Russian replacement products. Overall score, pretty bad. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. Ah! Hey! I, I, what for you?